Ukraine's first lady, Helena Zelenska, was on a mission to Paris to shore up support. She and Prime Minister Denis Shmihal were Kiev's top emissaries at this solidarity conference. 70 countries and institutions gathered in the French capital to ensure Ukraine has what it needs to survive the winter. Right now, the urgency is to support the Ukrainian people's capacity to resist. To allow Ukraine to go through this long winter, we wanted to organize together this conference called Standing with Ukrainian People, and we wanted the results to be very concrete. Russia's missile and drone attacks on energy facilities have damaged every thermal power plant in Ukraine. Millions of people have just a handful of hours of electricity each day. Fixing this is a priority. Support with power supplies could cost around 800 million euros. It's a lot, but the price is significantly less than the cost of the blackout for us in Ukraine. In total, more than $1 billion in aid was pledged. 400 million for energy, the rest for water, food, health and transport. Ukrainians are understandably proud of the way they've defended themselves against Russia's invasion. But they know that without help from friends and allies, their position would be much, much weaker. External assistance is one of the main contingencies of this war. It's a lifeline for the Ukrainians, and they know they have to keep it flowing. For example. And the faster, the better, says Timothy Milovanov. But the former economic development minister and president for the Kiev School of Economics insists Ukraine will keep fighting regardless. We don't need generators in the spring, we need them now. We don't need solar panels uh, next fall, we need them in the spring. Uh, but uh, even without that, uh, I think that's a mistake a lot of people are saying, are making. They think uh, the decisions are made uh, maybe in Moscow or in Beijing or in Washington. The decisions are made on the ground. We have the people here who want to be free and they are willing to die for it, with or without support of the world. Thankfully for Ukrainians, support continues to flow. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Kiev.